Lincoln Riley just shot me a look when I said that. 2021 review for the new USC coach when he was at Oklahoma, started 9 0, the best start since 2004, had it rolling, particularly after Caleb Williams took over at quarterback for the Sooners. They lost two of their last three games to a tough loss in the wild game in Bedlam. Shortly thereafter, Lincoln accepted the head coaching job at USC to try to reinvigorate this Trojans program and he certainly did you do that by getting really good players they landed three top 25 recruits for the 23 class including a couple of former commits to Oklahoma sort of recruiting this area has really been an issue for some of the Pac-12 schools most notably USC and in the early going Lincoln Raleigh has taken care of much of that as you look at some of the 2022 23 commits to the Trojan class. It's That's strange the quarterbacks would want to play for Lincoln. <laughs> they put up some numbers. Why. Happy to be joined by the new head coach of the Trojans, Lincoln Riley. As you look at this, uh, we were just talking in the break and thinking back to your Oklahoma experience here. When you walk into the stadium, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? Uh, ready to get back. Uh, I've had two experiences here. Uh, one was one of the great Rose Bowls ever played, an epic game, and then got a chance to come back and play UCLA here in a non-conference game a few years ago. So uh, now I think this is this is one of those venues that everybody in sports knows, and uh, obviously will be a big goal for us at USC to get back. You know, you've had success recruiting in the early going here as you make this transition to USC, and I was struck by something that a guy that's going to play out here today for Ohio State, C.J. Stroud, who's from Southern California, said, that some of the Pac-12 games just aren't exciting and people want to go to Ohio State or to Alabama or to Oklahoma uh, where there's a, a more passionate fan base. How do you address that? Uh, I think those of us that have followed college football for a long time have a great appreciation for what USC can be, has been, and I fully believe will be again. Uh, when, this, when this program is rolling, when it's operating at a high level, I really believe there's none like it in the country. And so... But it's our job to not just rely on the past, not just rely on the logo. It's we've got to go make it happen right now. And that's why we came. Lincoln, you, you, you got on board as an OC in, in Norman and Bob had a culture that was kind of created there. You helped maintain it. If anything, maybe you raised the bar. All of a sudden you go to a new school at USC. How do you start over? How do you what, what are the first steps you take to create that culture that you know and what it takes to win? Well, I think the first thing is bringing a staff of people that understand what that looks like, you know, that we don't have to teach them what the culture looks like and then in turn teach the players. And so we've been able to bring a tremendous staff, guys that know what a championship program looks like, how it operates. Um, and then you just and then you and then you bring it to these guys. You do you. And I think there's a lot of buy in right now. I think USC is at a place where um, maybe the program has been maybe humbled, I think, in a way uh, that I think everybody realizes that we've all got to get on board. We've got to all do it together, and we all recognize the opportunities if we do that. But it, you're right. I mean, programs that are championship programs that are right there in the mix year in and year out, it starts with culture, and that's certainly what it's going to that, – that's what will happen for us at USC. Mm -hmm. For so many years, we've seen you have so much success, and everybody goes, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, such a great place, such great tradition. Why leave? Like, how hard was that decision? Why did you leave? Oh, I was – I don't know that I can even describe how hard it was, uh, but executing it was hard. Uh, the, the people there that you love, the relationships, um, all the great memories, that was the hard part. But this was the right thing for my family, for me uh, professionally. It was just the right place at the right time. And so really had no hesitation about that part of it. Uh, just again, I feel like what this can be is, is um, I think we're very uniquely positioned right now with all that's changing in college football. and. As you looked ahead, felt like, man, this was this was just too good to pass up. Coach Riley, thanks for joining us. We've talked a lot about opt-outs, especially this time of the year during bowl season. What is your opinion on the state of college football today and the issue of kids opting out, especially in bowl games? It's a it's a double-edged sword. It is. Uh, from some of the individual perspectives, you, you see that. Um, I think as a college coach, it's our job to offer perspective on these guys because these are – opportunities that you don't get back yeah. and, and you understand why guys have have those thoughts that cross their minds but you try to give them perspective like all of us we're not going to play another snap I mean maybe David still can but none of us are <laughs> going to it so when you get down the line and you look back are you going to be happy that you did that are you going to look back and say man that 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 one last opportunity with my squad to go play in some of these historic bowl games I I, I think a lot of guys will miss that I really do when you took over at Oklahoma you'd never been a head coach there was a, a structure in place. You come here with some head coaching experience and you have to establish a structure. 
What's the difference in the first few weeks of your tenure at USC as compared to when you were head coach for the first time? Very different, very different. Like you said, Oklahoma was in June. Uh, the majority of the staff was in place. Um, I was learning a lot on the fly. Um, I think coming in now, there's some things that, that I will do different just because this is the start of something. Um, but it's exciting. It's exciting to have a chance to, to kind of join with everybody to build this thing together. Again, we just keep looking at what the top end can be here. And we just feel like the, the really the possibilities are, are endless. And uh, it makes it fun to get up each morning and attack. Well, it's, uh, college football is better when the traditional powers are better and when USC is competing at that level. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.